Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet. Today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada on the Las Vegas Strip in front of the Oasis Motel. There are two famous people that died here at this motel. We're gonna talk about it. There's the sign for the Oasis Motel. We'll walk inside and check this place out. Gotta do it again. I'll tell you why in a minute. This thing right here. All right, there's the sign for the Oasis Motel. Let's walk inside and check this place out. All right, we're standing in front of room number six here at the Oasis Motel. Inside this room, Stu Unger passed away. Stu Unger was the greatest gin rummy player who ever lived and probably the greatest poker player who ever lived. He won three World Series of Poker bracelets. Nobody's ever won more. Um, he was a very young looking man for his age. The first time that he won the World Series of Poker, people couldn't believe it because when you looked at him he looked like a teenager he was very small the other the other poker players were even even commenting that uh, they felt strange playing with a kid when he was actually of age but Stu Unger was a very interesting person he had a photographic memory and he actually started uh, playing gin rummy back east and he challenged some mob figures i guess uh, in gin rummy that uh, he could guess exactly what was in their hands and the cards that were in in their hands and he did it he was able to do it well the mob started backing him and he eventually moved out here to las vegas and uh he's now a legend but he did have a photographic memory he could you could take eight ten decks of cards and throw cards down in front of them one at a time as quick as you wanted and he can remember every one of them when you got to the last card without showing it to him he could tell you what card you were holding so but he was an amazing person and the coroner said that he died from long-term drug use there was no drugs or drug paraphern paraphernalia found in the room with him when they found his body but he was a long-term drug addict he died on November 22nd, 1998, here in this room. And we spoke with this, this room is known to be haunted. The daytime manager here told us that she's had reports where people would set the TV uh, remote control on top of the TV, and if the ghost of Stu did not like what they were watching, he would take it off of the TV and set it on the floor. See, the remote's up there on the so. TV right now. Oh, okay. It is. Yeah, let's see. It is. Stop. Yeah, sure enough. The remote is still sitting there on top of the TV. Okay. Right where she said they put it. But, anyhow, that's uh, where Stu Unger passed away. The kid. They made a movie about Stu called The Kid. It was a very good movie. If you get a chance to see it, check it out. And the day manager also told us that during the World Series of Poker, they get lots of requests specifically for this room. Because players who are playing in the World Series of Poker are hoping that some of Stu's genius or luck rubs off on them and helps them in the tournament. So, anyhow, we'll move on to the next room here. But, uh, now we're walking over to room number 20. And unfortunately, on March 29th, 1999, David Strickland was found hanging in this room, which is a, a big, big, big disappointment. He was um, an actor that got into drugs and prostitutes, and he was actually scheduled the next morning to show up in court in LA 
and for drug possession right yeah for drugs yes for cocaine use and when he was found yes there was drugs in his system and um, they found a six pack of beer and the chair that he is standing on was knocked over and it, from what I understand Brick Shield sent an investigator to find him because he didn't show up in court and that, that's how he was found. But, um, he, he was starring with Brooke Shields in Suddenly, Suddenly Susan? Susan. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sure. Now he had actually spent the evening, earlier part of the evening, with a prostitute yes. here. Yes, yes. And then he walked down and got the beer and then came back. It was noted about, you know, like one in the morning, something around there. And he had $800 in his possession at the time. Yes, yes. So, and they say this room's haunted too, you know, and, uh, Apparently, they've had ghost hunter people out here every now and again, and different people. But the day manager was really nice and was talking to us. And people, she said she's had problems with maids not wanting to clean this room, number 20 or number 6, because they were very religious and they didn't want to be exposed to that evil or something. They're superstitious. <laughs> but, you know, but she said so nothing's ever happened to her, you know, but. You know, this is just unfortunate, you know. I guess um, David was having, he was bipolar and he was taking lithium. And so maybe he was taking his medications correctly and of course being, you know, using drugs and having to go to court. It's going to, and his career is going to, you know, you know it wasn't going all that good. You know, so that's sad. It is, it okay, is. But, oh. This is the room, number 20 here, where David Strickland passed away by hanging. All right, so let's check out, they've got uh, the curtain open here. We'll see the room where David Strickland died. regular cheap old room amazing mm -hmm. people of the actors famous people coming out here so anyhow folks this is the infamous Oasis motel what's it called now they're the changing it. OYO right? motel I believe and it's right here on Las Vegas Boulevard it's actually kind of cool the way they have this, they have this courtyard sitting just off of the strip. It's, it's nice and quiet out here. You get over the front of the motel, it gets loud from all the traffic. We have the stratosphere right yeah, there. Yeah, you can see the stratosphere right there. Janet pointed that out. Thank you, Janet. Statue of Liberty right at the entrance. I wonder how many of those are in town. The oh, Statue of Liberty, there's three or four of them. Yeah, there's a, the one at New York, New York. There's one at, on Sahara, one here. And on every tax season, you see them in little people in uniform, Statue of Liberty, or Liberty Tax, and, like, and, and all that. But that's pretty cool. All right. all right, folks, we hope you enjoyed this little stop that we made here at the Oasis Motel in Las Vegas, where Stu Unger and David Strickland met their demise. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell for notifications, and please share these videos. And until we see you guys again, have a nice day. Bye-bye.